Um, I don't know, sorry. Uh, choices. Well, choices what can affect your life, I guess. Being able to... You can go. Being given the opportunity to make your own decisions. Uh, choice is something that people make, like decisions that people choose to progress the future. Choices is what you make without having to know what the others think of it. To me, I would say choices are a series of decisions that you make based on your own priorities. So looking at the pros and cons of what's going to be best for you, what's going to be best for others, and determining what the best outcome is going to be and then following the path that's going to take you there. I suppose there's an element of freedom in there so that you have a number of options so you've got a range of things to select from. Choices can be like a crossroad. One path leads to the park and the other to the school where you learn science. Science. Ha! Not fun unless you want to be like Einstein. Well, there are a lot of choices. You can choose to whether to play netball for fun, or for the Olympics, or what language you would like to learn. There are so many possibilities and you definitely have to choose one. That's why you have to think critically about what path you're going to take. I could be paid a lot for an Olympic gold medal if I choose to train hard on netball, or maybe not, as I'm into other things more than that. Even though not many people speak French, but would it be useful especially when I go to Paris? Choices may not be very easy, in that they can go wrong for some. Some people choose to study subjects that do not match their dreams, and worse, they can choose to drive like this, when they know or not that it is dangerous. Yeah, I can go wrong, but I can go right as well. Uh, it depends what you do. If you try to help someone then that's a choice that you make which is a could be good could be bad you may never know yeah the choice can go wrong if you make the wrong decision yeah all the time people always make um wrong decisions yeah yeah i think that if you don't think and if you don't choose wisely it can go for you oh definitely i think um that's where you're going to find the word mistake comes in and everyone's going to make mistakes at some point in their lives i think the important thing though is to learn from those mistakes and so long as you keep building on what you learn and developing yourself you're going to end up making better choices in the future and not repeating the mistakes that you made in the past you all have a range of choices to make and you could have choices that could go 100% wrong, or 100% right, or a whole series of choices in between. One example of someone's choice gone wrong was an ex-student or my after teacher. She was one of his best students and left giving up art for Mammington. She turned, ready to take off to university when she wanted to study architecture. But that was too late and she had missed everything she needed to get into it. Did she suddenly change her mind? Or was it because she didn't know that she needed to be a good draftsman to design houses? She's not alone, and there are other people who also make the wrong choice in terms of what they are studying. So the subjects that I take are bio, classics, history, geography, and uh, health. So those are my five subjects. And are they rele relevant to my future? Um, yeah, I think most of them are. Um, I'm doing a Bachelor of Design, Digital Design, so that means I do, uh, I do cinematic fundamentals, I do interactive fundamentals and animation, and also theory and context. Okay, so I'm taking chemistry, biology, physics, calculus and geography. The um, reason I took each of those is because it gave me quite a broad uh, spectrum of opportunity for after this year so I wasn't confined to one particular path for my career. Um, I could really go a lot of different places. I had literacy through geography, I had calculus, I had maths through calculus and I, my sciences covered all the bases as well and so I really had a lot of choice 
with the subjects that I chose, and I think that's really valuable. According to NZQA, the key things to consider in making the right choice in terms of what we're going to study is to choose a course or subject you're good at or what you want to do after school. Well, this does not limit to that. Everything you choose to do will go along to the path that leads to your dream. And of course, choices do not begin from scratch. You may choose them because you might be good at it. Or you think that you can reward it a lot of money or just for fun. You need to have knowledge about it before you can tell which is right or wrong. And many people believe that this can be passed down mostly from families. That's why, even today, some people make the same choice as their parents do. Either they find it easy, or just to preserve the family tradition. Um, I think it would be a bit of both. So, in terms of the path that they would follow, um, following in my own footsteps, I'd want them to be able to feel comfortable making choices for themselves and um, feel comfortable learning how to make well-informed choices. Uh, in terms of not following in my footsteps though, I don't think they need to take the same path that I have, the same subjects, the same career, that sort of thing. I think what's more important is that they learn to make good decisions for themselves that will benefit their lives because they're a different individual to what I am. No, not at all. I'd encourage them to kind of go along with whatever they find as, um, like, find as their own passion. Children require a lot of guidance, in my opinion. Um, and I think all decisions you make, you need facts and knowledge to base those decisions on. So it's a parent's job to supply a lot of that information so that your children can make wise decisions. I think it's important for them to know whether you think their decision is a sound decision or not a sound decision. Um, because as a parent, of course, you want to prevent your, your son or daughter from getting hurt. And you want to make their life as easy for them as you possibly can. So any advice that a parent gives is aimed for the benefit of the child, for their health, for their safety and their happiness. Well. This may not be the case nowadays, thanks to the advancement in technology, more job opportunities, and freedom. If I didn't choose to study art, I would have become a nurse like my mother, because, according to the Daily Mail, children of doctors and nurses will have a higher chance of following their family's footsteps than any other parents. It's okay not to, because I am a different person to her, despite being her daughter. Today. More and more families let their children pick their own path for the sake they want to change, to be better, to be able to grow through a new environment, or they just simply don't care. Every choice you make, it's yours, even it matches your families, and there is no exact right or wrong. But this still means that you have to think twice about it, whether it makes your life easy. Whether it will long term benefit you and your loved ones, or whether to make the world a better place. Choices can go wrong. A choice or more that resulted in disadvantages, big and small. And that's when we think, oh my god, I could have made a better one. But don't worry, this happens to everyone, and that the only way to solve it is to make another choice to get out of it. And it's important that we learn from it and will do better not to let it happen again. As teenagers, we have grown the mature motivation of fulfilling our dreams and that we have plenty of time to live for it. We have plenty of time to learn to make better choices for a later life where going back on track after a mistake will be hard. Despite the freedom, the abundance of time, it is important to make the most and take things seriously. The more experienced you are in making choices, the more likely you will end up with a happier life. But I wonder what would happen if you say what you want to say.